last form we're going to work on is a cube. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that these rounded forms are treated differently than the cube because the cube has angles. It doesn't have any rounded edges. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a cube. Now, this does not necessarily need to be in perfect one-point perspective, so we're going to kind of cheat a little bit. So we're going to do two vertical parallel lines going up and down. We're going to do two vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal lines going straight across. And then we're going to do some diagonal lines that are also parallel. So I'm going to bring this diagonal line out parallel. Now when this line is going in this direction, you have to make sure this line goes in the same direction. Notice that all of these are parallel lines. Lines that are going in the exact same direction as one another. So these two match, these two match, and these three match. Now we have to end the box, so look at one, two, three. We have one, we have two, so then we have three here. We have one here, we have two here, we have three there. Now with this cube, I'm going to put my light source again over on this side, and I'm going to have my light source hitting the side of the box over here that we can't see. Okay? Now if my light is hitting the side of the box that we can't see, that means that that's our white. Okay? That's the white that we have at the end of our gradation scale. So if this is white, which side would be darkest? This side. So this is probably going to receive the darkest value because it's furthest away from the light. So this would be our black right in here. And make that as nice and dark as you possibly can. Now remember, we're not going to be showing a gradation of value from light to dark. Because this is a box, because this is a cube, when the light hits the side, just like on my pencil sharpener here, because it's not round, like the candle, the light can't travel going around because you have a straight edge. So each side is going to get treated separately. So that means that this side might be one of these medium values up here. Notice I'm using the edge of my pencil. Doing a little bit of cross hatching for shading. And use your eraser, clean up your lines, your edges, because that does make a difference. Now, again, just like we did the cylinder over here, we can do something different with the top of this. So decide whether you want to give yourself a challenge or not. Is the top of this box on? And if so, what value might it be? It might be one of these very light values up here. So then it might just be an extremely light value. Or is your box open? And if your box is open, then you need to add another vertical line. So if the corners of your boxes are going straight up and down, then the corner back here would also go straight up and down. If my light is shining on the outside of this part of the box, then this would have to be dark because, again, light doesn't bend. So this would be the dark part of the box. And then this probably would be another darker value because, again, it's inside the box. The sun isn't necessarily, the light source is not necessarily getting in there. And then our cast shadow. Again, this is the bottom, just like we did the bottom on these other pieces here, right like this. This is going to come straight out to the side. It's not going to end here. We don't want it to end way up there because that's too far, just to the edge. And then this is going to be dark. And then as this cast shadow comes away from the box, it's going to gradually get lighter. And that's your cube. The things you have to remember is you need to have your four forms, you need to show a light source, you should have 
five values. And I know I told you four with these two, but really it should be five. I kind of forgot that I said five. I normally teach this, I say five. So a light source, a white, a black, three mediums, and don't forget your cast shadow. So I hope you keep practicing. Again, I'm always saying the more you practice, the better you're going to be. Keep drawing and have fun.